Yeah, the concern is that the bug that's going around, this flu bug or whatever it is going around. Yeah, I think there's four or five guys, but it's a 24-hour deal, they're telling me, and they're in quarantine, and, and uh, they, it's every day something. We'll be fine. Can you update the injury situation? Roby is kind of a new name. Uh, Roby is a guy that got hurt in the Big Ten Championship game. It's a bone bruise, and uh, he practiced a little bit today, and so we know more tomorrow. Any update on Spence? Spent. No expense, uh, not right now. In, in terms, of, there hasn't been. You've had here. some, you know, some injury concerns and some other things going on down here. Obviously, the, the flu deal. What do you like from what you're seeing out of this practice? So I like my team. Positives. Yeah. I like my players. I like the fact they uh, came down in this heat and I would say it was a hard day. And uh, I mean, what do I like? I like about everything, but our players and. I understand there's some holes right now we're trying to fight through, but name a program that doesn't have holes and, and uh, issues and guys getting hurt, guys sick, guys, you know, that's, you've got 100 players, things happen. And we went out very professional, very businesslike. I like that. The, uh, how, how important the, is hydration? I mean, you've spent oh, man. time down here. Yeah, and... We kill them with that stuff. So, yeah, that's, uh, you know, it's funny. I remember when I was in Florida to get a player to go out and play in 30 degree weather at Vanderbilt was, <laughs> you had to beat him with a stick to get him out of the locker room. And then, it's the complete flip here. I'm thinking this is one of the coolest days I remember. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So it was great, though, and our guys are fine. Do you have a young player or two maybe challenging to uh, to play in this game, who maybe excelled in bowl practice? And oh, well, Von Bell is the one. Von Bell's practice at extremely high level. Tyvis Powell is doing great. Um, those are two young players. Um, oh, I'm trying to think. That's it about it. That's about it right now. Who have you got? I mean, is Jamal Marcus? Is he working yeah. in Noah's spot? Steve and Miller, Steve Miller and, and Steve Miller. Those two are rotating right now. Yeah. What What are you seeing out of them? And uh, good in day today. Regard? Real yeah. good day today. Yeah. Uh, yesterday was kind of a sloppy day. You know, travel day, which that usually happens. But I was very pleased with today. You know, you said yesterday there was a chance you might get Noah. Do, are you Are you going into this week now thinking you're not? Or what's I'll know more tomorrow. Really? I'll know more. Yeah. What is tomorrow? Tuesday. Yeah. 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 I'll know more tomorrow. Urban, do you do you wish you guys had gotten Von Bell into the lineup earlier in the season, or did you feel like it just was not possible to get him ready? Well, you don't wish. I mean, you know, just you know, uh, I I've always been a Von Bell guy, and uh, he's just you know it takes time to move him into the lineup. Yeah, there was good chemistry pl playing. We won a bunch of games, and and uh, but Von Bell certainly a talented guy. He's going to play a lot of ball here. Urban, this is a Bosa's hometown. Yep. His dad here today. And look, just just wondered what you. What you've seen out of him, we know he's he's obviously had an, an excellent season. But well, other... we're actually going to go by actually uh, St. Thomas High School for Friday, uh, our, our best Fridays in football. I guess it'll be a Thursday this game week, but uh, our, for our best Fridays in football, and you know a lot of that's because of Joey and, and uh, just the tr tradition of that high school and the fact he's on our team. So he's been. I thought he'd be good. He's better than anybody envisioned a freshman defensive lineman and his great work ethic shows up every day. So he's everything you want. We you mean you're going to go by, you're going to. you went to visit? Death Valley and had a chance to, you know, catch up with Dabo Sweeney, what's your relationship like with him? Oh, great. We're, our families are very good friends and we do that Nike trip together every year. And uh, I, think he's, I think he's one of the top coaches in the country. A lot of respect for him. What about Coach Morris and, and how close yeah. did you get to maybe yeah, he was here? Yeah, yeah there, there was, uh, there was no truth to that. Right. I mean, I don't know where that, I have to ask Chad someday. So did you start that? Or? <laughs> I, but I mean, everybody knows I have a lot of respect for him. I think he's great. What he did, because I remember watching the transformation from the previous offense to his, and it was almost overnight they came out doing a great job. So a uh, great football coach. So you I'm didn't talk to him about coming to the staff? No. Hmm. No. It sounded like you got him a raise from the yeah, from where he told <laughs> <told> the story. <laughs> <laughs> Urban, when, when a defense struggles the way it has the last two games, a defensive coordinator is going to take some criticism. Uh, what would you say about the job that Lucas done this year? Well, we had a, we replaced the whole front seven. Uh, to, you know, pass defense. I went grade very high overall defense. We won a bunch, uh, won a bunch of games and. We're not up to standard. It hasn't been the standard for a while. So you have to, there's two things you look at. You have to look at scheme and you have to look at uh, development. You have to look at personnel. And that's all what I'm doing now. And uh, it's certainly not what we expect. Do I have a confidence? I have a tremendous amount of confidence in Luke Fickle. I think he's a very unselfish coach, a uh, very good coach, and a guy that uh, we're going to get this thing fixed. Urban, it's that time of year when in the NFL, jobs are being opened and guys, guys are losing jobs and things are happening. Was there ever a time in your coaching career when you ever thought as a younger assistant or whenever you were a younger sure. coach that you wanted to be in the NFL? Sure. Um, I actually got offered a few as an assistant and almost did it once. And, uh, the other half of my marriage vetoed it. Uh, but 
a lot of respect for the NFL, but it just never seemed to work out. And, and I'm very, you know, I think I'm, I'm a college coach. I like being around college players. And, and that's it. You know, Browns have an opening. Yeah. What's that? Browns have an opening, you know. I heard that. Yeah. One year. A couple more questions. Is there, I mean, the, is there any part of that that an opening like that in your home state no. would be any different than you would look at any other job? No, no, I'm not looking at any jobs. No. The wrong way is about Chad Morris. Yeah, Chad Morris basically. He <laughs> said y'all. He said y'all had a conversation, but in before the ACC championship game, and then he went in right after the ACC championship game and met with his AD and coach and got his new contract and stuff. I've had conversations with him, but not yeah. about jobs. But not about at jobs at Ohio State or yeah, yeah. No. Right after you got hired, you know. No. Hired no, I've had conversations with him about offense. Because I admire you know, what he does offensively. You've now coached at this site for two years in recent memory. Um, what, what arguments would you make for uh, the Orange Bowl to host um, the, uh, playoff games in the future? Anything like that? What arguments would I make? Yeah, if, if you, I, I don't know what that means. I, I think if you ask me, do we love this bowl game and is it first class? Yes. And it's as good as I've ever been around the people and, and the hospitality location. So we're, I'm a big fan of this the Orange Bowl and the Orange Bowl committee. Coach, with Coach Williams leaving, have you? Coach what? With Coach Withers leaving, have you given any thought to what you're going to do there with that job oh, after bowl game? That's occupies a lot of my time. It's a big hire. You know, ever Coach Withers done an excellent job with recruiting, and you know, I know statistically we had some issues. He's a great football coach, a great friend, and we have to hit a home run on this next hire. So yeah, we're, we're I'm spending a lot of time on that right now. Will that be a safeties coach slash co-defensive coordinator? Or could Still evaluating. I'm, I'm going to sit down. You know, just trying to win this game. Yeah. Uh, I am doing a lot of evaluation, and uh, next week make some decisions. All right. All right. Thanks, that's what it's probably going to be. Thank you. Thank you.